Today we will make Tiki Halloween cocktail. Hi guys, girls, friends, enemies, and anybody watching this video. My name is Ice. This is all my love, passion, and energy from Miami to you to the world. Welcome to my channel, guys. Halloween is coming in a couple of days, and I decided to share with you an amazing Halloween cocktail. But I don't want to make it just a Halloween cocktail. I want to make it tropic because I love sun, I love sea, I love tropic, I love tiki. So I decided to make a tiki Halloween cocktail. And this one consists of three parts. We will have to make our tiki Halloween mug, we'll have to make a special syrup, and then we'll have to make a cocktail. Two of those I already done, so let's start from the beginning. And the first thing what we have to do if we want to prepare a very nice Halloween tiki cocktail, we have to prepare a tiki Halloween mug. And for this reason I have this amazing button and squash which I will turn into a very beautiful Halloween tiki mug by carving my art on it and making it very beautiful. Also, I will take everything what's inside and it will turn that into syrup that you'll see in the next step. And now let's get to work because there's a lot of art to do. First part of our Tiki Halloween mug preparing is done. So you see, I scooped everything inside. At first it's a bit more difficult to get through because it's uh, hard stuff there. And then I see it, so it's easy. We just need uh, to scoop them with a spoon and that's it. So now the second part of making some art. So, half work is done or maybe just 20% uh, of my art is done and if you want to see the final results, so stick to the end of this video and you will see everything and you will see the final art and you will see how to make a syrup and finally you will see how to make an amazing Halloween tiki cocktail in this amazing butternut squash turned to tiki Halloween mug thing. Tiki Halloween mug is done. Now let's go to make syrup. So, first step is done. I have a very beautiful uh, tiki Halloween mug done. You'll see it in the end of the video, so stick to it. And subscribe to the channel so you can see more amazing videos in my channel. And now we have a second step. We'll be making butternut squash sugar syrup. Not exactly just butternut squash because I'll be adding some more spices in there. But butternut squash is going to play a very important role in this syrup. So, everything is very easy. You already saw how to make any syrup in my make any syrup video. If you didn't, you can check it right here. So you will have an idea, you will have a knowledge to create any syrup you want. And now I'm creating a little bit more complicated syrup. So you can update your knowledge as well by watching this video. And we will need butternut squash inside, peeled, diced, or in this uh, part, this is uh, all uh, shaved or how to say, because when I was making a mug, you saw I took everything from inside. So I'm using all the butternut squash to this cocktail, and everything is very simple. I'm taking the squash, putting it in the pan, pot, it's around one cup, to this one cup of butternut squash, I'm adding one cup of sugar, white cane sugar. I also will add two cups of water because I want the syrup not to be very sweet. I want it to take more flavor from butternut squash. And spices. One whole cinnamon stick, I break it so it gives more flavor. 
I break it, it's very tough. <laughs> Two smaller pieces, put it inside. Also, all spice berries. I'm using like two, three of them. Two, like four cloves. One, two, three, four. And uh, nutmeg. Ground one, I'm going to use like one fourth of the bar spoon. In our mixture, I mix everything a bit and put it on the stove to boil. Now everything is very simple. I leave it to boil. When it will boil, I will reduce the heat and leave it for around 5-10 minutes. I will see how long it will take for butternut squash to get soft and then we will move forward. So let's give it some time. All right, 10 minutes passed and I have my syrup almost ready. Actually, it's halfway, we will still have some way to go. But my butternut squash is softened. You see, everything is nicely done. And by the way, final recipe, you will find in the description below. So if you wanna go and get just what you have to put, just go in the description and you can find there everything. No second step. We will have to drain everything. Separate syrup from all the spices. And now we have to separate butternut squash from the spices. Okay, next step, we will blend our syrup with this boiled butternut squash. If you're doing it hot, so be careful. And blend everything together. Final step to strain everything what's blended here. Nicely done. I can't show you the color because it's in there, but it's nice yellow color. And tasting time before going to the cocktail. Mmm, very nice. I can't even find the words in English to describe that, so I will need to improve my English vocabulary. But it feels a bit oily, of course sweet. I feel hints of all the spices I put there, and this butternut squash really has a very, very nice hint, and this buttery texture in the syrup. So, I think I just found some words to describe it, so... <laughs> okay guys, we have everything. We have mug, we have syrup, Let's get to the cocktail. And we have everything we need for our Tiki Halloween cocktail. We have mud, we have this amazing butternut squash syrup that I have in my hand. It's really amazing. It was the first time I was doing it like that and wow, it really surprises me. I'm discovering so many things by creating this channel and sharing my knowledge with you. So please, if you are not a subscriber, subscribe my channel and we will discover a lot of amazing things to go. And now let's go to make our cocktail. As you see, I don't have any mug yet because I will show you in the end. I will show you my art just then I will have to pour my drink into the mug. So stay tuned and let's go to make a cocktail. We will be shaking this cocktail so we will need a shaker. I'm putting a full shaker of ice to chill it while I'll be pouring everything in another part of the shaker. And here we go. We have our shaker full of ice and we'll be pouring all the important ingredients of our Tiki Halloween cocktail. First one is Plantation Jamaica Hayamaka Rum. We'll need 
two ounces of this amazing rum. Second ingredient is mind blowing, my love, my biggest love, our cachaça brand. I love this drink, this is amazing and I said you haven't seen how I make Caprinias with this amazing drink, just check this link and wow, these drinks are amazing, ah, like falling in love. One ounce of this amazing cachaça, Grand Marnier or if it happens if you don't have some Grand Marnier, just do some triple sec on two or just some triple sec and I'm going to use two thirds of an ounce. Coconut milk, one ounce. And our famous, our beautiful butternut squash syrup, one ounce. Or if you like sweeter, really sweeter, you can use one and a half. I'll use one for now, or maybe a bit more than one, but a bit less than one and a half, somewhere in between. And to spice things even more up, I'll use this beautiful, my friend's anti-mixologist bitter. It's tropical bitter, so it will be very nice in this tropical, dicky Halloween cock. I'm going to use five small drops. One, two. Everything what's left is to shake this cock. Energy, love and passion. water and let's shake the things up. Ready? Whew. More love, more passion and more energy. It smells amazing. I'll check. No. Everything is perfect. And now the big moment because I will show my art to the wall. And here we go. This is my ticket mug. I have to present you love, passion, and energy mug. Ticket mug. Look how beautiful. Love, passion, energy. I know I'm struggling to painting passion, but this is a representation of it. A, a little bit ornaments, then this is everything what I love. Sun, sunset, sunrise, sun itself. I love ships and I love palms. And of course, I love Martin. So this is my Tiki Mark for my Tiki Halloween cocktail. All right, let's do it. Let's train this cocktail. And I'm going to fill it with more ice to the top just to be cold and a little garnish. So for garnishing I will use okay, we don't need the ice. <laughs> for garnishing I will use the cap and I will use environmentally friendly pasta like straw. Where is the long one? Here. Yeah. The color is like a butternut. So I'm putting it right here and I'm also going to use some tetralic show like Tiki is about as well and I'm going to stick a cinnamon stick in here and I'm going to burn it. Here we go. It's a daytime, so the smoke is not very visible, but it comes here very nicely. It gives nice smell. And now we can enjoy this amazing cocktail. Halloween, Tiki Halloween cocktail. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you was inspired to create some amazing Halloween cocktails, Tiki or not Tiki, it depends what you like, what you would like to do, and I hope it was knowledgeable and interesting for you and in return i would ask you just to subscribe my channel like this video share with your friends for halloween maybe we want to be inspired maybe some of them will do some amazing 
Halloween take your minds off. Or maybe some of them will do some amazing Halloween cocktails. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in next videos.